Fort roams mid off to the base. Complete surprise. He's likely going to be at least one summoner blown here when Smoothie combos. And the question has been, is the communication there between Smoothie and Meteos? For sure it was on that one. Crown moves fast. Oh, he gets smoothie. the stick though. Petrifying gaze. Smoothie gets taken down. Flash and Knight is down. They're on the crown now. But it's at a summoner list. Cassiopeia in the mid lane versus Oriana Rek'Sai. Definitely gankable, especially if you know that Jensen has Flash. Now, Smeaky getting low here. Remember this curtain call available. Oof. 4 jj 1v2. You were them. saying? <laughs> Curtain has been called. It's also not a level six for Smoothie. Just another attack. Is it the Q? Oh, oh the deadly flourish almost taking him. Uh, does not make these mistakes and comes up with the extra kills. And down here. bottom lane, though. Sneaky caught up. Exhaust goes down. Oh, he doesn't even. Yeah, it was the undertow that takes him down. I didn't think Ambition was going to get there in time. Meteos just on the edge. Shockwave in the mid lane. Petrifying oh. game. Kind of Jensen. He flashes. The oh, no. Jensen comes up with a. Off there, anyways, but. Uh, not going to be able to capitalize once again. Oh, this uh -oh. could be it for Sneaky. If Smoothie can get in range, it's actually Sneaky's flash that is forced. Doesn't need to call the ultimate out of Smoothie. But Cuve gave an impact hell in the top lane here. Could phase dive in. Looks for the scrap shield to go down, and he gets the third hit. It's been a lot since Impact was playing much stronger in the top lane that Meteos almost stays away from that lane. Set up, why not let him walk into the trap? They're just gonna go after him immediately. It looks like he may stay for the fight enough to die. The heal from Ruler, and that's gonna keep him alive. Sneaky goes down, and Samsung changes this one and puts Go into defensive mode, use defensive vision at the moment, whereas Samsung can pick any point of power right now. Man, Ruler with the Jin hits oh. every single ultimate. Here we go though, Cloud9 again. Flash in from Smoothie, Ruler's the focus, which means he can get the Mantra Shield from Core JJ. They should both be able to walk out of this. And it's hard to choose a target in the bot lane with all the speed. Impact's gonna go down to another solo kill from Cuve. And now it's the bot lane. Ambition thinking, should we go? Asking the team. It looks like they've turned the trigger on for this one. Cuve teleports to the bot lane. Jensen gets melted. Smoothie's gonna be the next target in the eyes of Samsung Galaxy. And can they bring the universe down on Meteos' head? Yes, they can. 10 to 1. Oh, I see. Looks pretty busy over at that Baron site. 21 and a half minutes in. It is going to be the ward. Smoothie may not be able to do much. Medios is just too far away. And Smoothie may go down on this one. Another hit comes in. Impact goes down. And I wonder what that this gonna does. Be the bot lane. To the mentality of C9. They made a couple of good setups, but they fumbled the execution. That led to vision loss, more pickoffs. And as they desperately tried to claw their way into the fight, they, they ran into a, such a consistent Samsung Galaxy here, always punishing every single window of opportunity. Yeah, this is a very important opening game here for Samsung. As they even turning around constant plays from Cloud9, uh, they probably won't be too scared. So you have to be care careful about you know getting overconfident, I guess, as moves forward. Here we go, though. Cloud9 still going for plays. Uh, they know that they're so far behind. Cloud9 just still you know, going for these sneaky plays to try and you know, get something back for themselves, even if it's a little bit too late. As Samsung Shot move in, trying to take the inhibitors down, and Cube still on the 1v1 with impact. Almost getting worse and worse for that top lane. Bot inhibitor is going to go down. Cube may be able to solo that one in the top himself. Smoothie giving the team a little bit of room to work with. A great shockwave. Samsung Galaxy going to have to think twice, but so will the rest of Cloud9. Oh. Jensen's almost out of mana. Can't dance this one out too much more. He hasn't really gotten any of his blue buffs this game. They are being, being denied resources and objectives all across the map. And this may be another very fast game from Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, super clean closing here. Jensen doing what he can, but it's not enough. Doesn't have enough ability power to supplement. Shockwave combo here. First Nexus turret is falling. Looks like it could be number two. Exhaust to Medios. Medios is saying walk this way, but he can't even get out of the base for them to follow him. He's going to come up with about a quarter health here. Crown should be able to do the work with Ruler there on his last bullet. Reloading as they head to the Nexus turrets. Impact rolls <laughs> down the Equalizer. Says you want to walk him. in. Here's the red carpet. And it looks like he's going to start cooking up some dinner. First one was Crown. Can he find any more? Ruler is down. Now Sneaky trying to get back to the base for Solace. But Cube ties his shoes together. Takes him down before he can get there. And it's only 25 minutes in. Everybody's falling left and right. It looks like Samsung Galaxy is going to have one more try at the Nexus. Yeah, they still have people oh, hitting the, still Nexus on the, the Nexus at the moment. 
When you don't know when to leave the party, you keep staying, and you start to become the troublesome one. That's Cuve right now. Oh, it is Ambition oh, oh, that went oh. down. Cuve, a few more swipes, just a few more HP as well, and they silence him. Snowballing could really start leaning into this Oriana versus Cassiopeia pick. This would be an entirely different game. Everything that Samsung is doing right now causes Cloud9 to instantly react. Semi alts flashing forward. Cloud9 has to act immediately. Looking for the kills as well as the Nexus. It's going to be Cube as well. Going for one more kill. They turn around. It's the last few hits. 20 the first turret gold is still on the map here. So if there's a huge fight bottom lane, there's. Oh. You were saying? You were saying? flashes over the tidal wave. He goes for a surf, and Core JJ still getting the shots in. Smoothie with 350. Mid lane on to Crown. Oh, Cloud9. Definitely feel it when uh, Kennen is uh, waltzing. Oh, teleport from Samsung. Onto Ambition, very, very tanky. Flashes are being used here. Tidal Wave flashed out by Ambition. Ooh. Slicing Maelstrom on three members. The Shockwave from Crown and Cloud9 is melting. Impact to the skies and to the back line as he tries to finish Ambition, but it's like he's hitting brick walls left and right. Samsung stay up as five, and Smoothie is the only one standing for Cloud9. And that is going to be the Baron. We set it up so long. The all-in from some of Samsung. A champion composition here. They pull it off, teleport in behind, right on to Sneaky. And, that and the game number one ended just about three minutes ago. This Not one going to go much longer than that as Cloud9 now put on their engage with a tidal wave. The curtain call comes out. That's Azania's and ultimate by Cube. Pretty much just zoning Cloud9 off any more engage. We see Meteos go down. He's the front line. That's a lot of squishy health bars, and I don't think Samsung will stop on this engage. Oh. Crown is tanking. One shield. The second command protect, but it's not enough. He has his, but that just makes ambition yeah. that They're much starting more it. of a beast. As they, just bot lane. Start it. they just want to bait him in, force him for a decision. They have to come through traps and a zone from an Oriana ball here. Look at how fast this Baron's dropping. There's a TP coming in. It's a little far behind. Cloud9's Ooh. gonna try to take the fight. Medios is in by himself. That was the flash in as well. Guardian Angel comes up. He might be able to tunnel down. And he's not even gonna be able to like, tunnel backwards out of the pit. That means they're pinging now from Samsung Galaxy on that mid lane. That's but we'll such... see how they go. It'll be a huge push for Samsung. I think they definitely get inside and get at least one inhibitor. The great setup right there. Dan, if you do, Dan, if you don't. Yeah. For Medios, what's he gonna do right there? He had very few. Very little time to make the decision. Oh! What a flash. Two down now. Jensen, 60 seconds on the clock. Smoothie just gets auto down by Ruler as they follow up with the damage. He's going to go ahead and drop the inhibitor as well. Top lane was being pushed by Ambition, but he joins his team now inside the base. 10 plus minutes from game one. Samsung Galaxy making a look or looking to make that repeat. And they take down Sneaky before they look once again at the Nexus. 11 to 4 in game two. The final shots from Ruler. And back up from the top lane. Yep. Impact had a free push, but right now he's in danger. Oh, oh. the verdict is in! Cuve, first blood. Again, Cuve kills Impact all by himself. I thought that was going completely backwards. Impact had set up a giant yeah. wave that Cuve fought in, took so much damage, and then said, the wave's gone. Let's fight again. Uh, Here now in the, the mid, lane. mid lane, calls down the Reckoning Swing, and now this is going to be a kill onto Jensen. Flash goes down as well, and Crowns is numbered on the other side of the map. Even though Cloud9 are gaming this big advantage on the bottom side, uh, they continue to play super aggressively with both solo laners, and they both go down. Here we go, though. Cloud9 team play. Nice tether. Oh, right his steadfast presence falls and me. This is one, so has to be very careful with the vision that they do fight. Also, opens up ambition to most definitely hand that blue buff of Samsung's own oh. over to Crown. Top side, though, is the next target. They saw him. They got to run. They see Gorgia Day would never walk up, so he's kind of giving it away. You're absolutely correct. That change in positioning gave it away, but it doesn't matter. Samsung Galaxy going straight under the turret with the... 29 still have work to do. Looking at this next tower, the lane gag from Meteos could be the counter. Look. Nice try, but he comes out just on the left of the Abyssal Voyage, not on the Cupcake. Sneaky's the focus here. They're going to go ahead and get a quick kill over to Ambition. Now over to Smoothie. Ambition very close to going down, and the Boomerang cuts Sneaky down. They're trying to exit the fight now. The teleport does not come in from Impact. It is 
Yes, however, double kill for Medios. They might be able to follow this. He's too low to dive, even with the passive. Here comes Crown, though, and he's Crown, got... a good angle to cut this off. If he gets a miasma in and could finish up some damage. <laughs> Slip and slide! Exactly how it happened. Another flash as Jensen and Crown basically in the same mindset of the attack. Who's first? Looking for the buckler. Cuvee not even going for the shield. He goes instantly for the kill. Could be eat up. Yes, it's going to be Core JJ once again to deny the kill. And now they're on the blobs. Coming up so huge from cross map, Samsung Galaxy basically wipes out Cloud9. Core Sneaky, uh, Tom Kench was the one who ate that as well. Scobbling up everything and keeps Crown safe. Now they're going in on Sneaky though. If he can get to Sneaky, actually Steadfast Presence wears off. It's Smoothie. Smoothie's flash just went down. The rinse and repeat works. And that's the verdict as well that calls for... Cautious. Ambition lurking around the corner. Sneaky has to be so careful here. Does not see him coming. Well, there's the hit. Okay, so Crown Sneaky's having a trouble. He doesn't even get any help because this was so sporadic by Samsung Galaxy to the top side. C9 thought they could protect this one, but it's going to be Medios going down as well. The pass will give him a little bit more trouble. They're going to feed this one over. Yeah. TP in from Impact. It's actually moving, so it works. Yep. We're going to see how they get it. Medios is going to stay alive a little bit. Oh, good damage coming in from the Soul Flare from Smoothie, but it's not enough to finish anybody off. It just gives Samsung more time to turn around and find... Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, remember, you can tell what I've lost. They haven't gotten the kill. Here goes Impact flashing on Ruler, though. Nice job by Ruler to Spell Shield to knock away, but there's still enough follow-up damage. That's all that Impact is building as he goes for the kill there. Cuvee looking to push these guys out, but they all go right on him. Cuvee's already known the core JJ's coming in, and that's gonna be Impact having to flash. Already did, cannot get over the wall as he attempted to actually to the skies over to one of the Raptors. Oh, oh no! Oh. He says hello, he says goodbye. Says who's next? Says who's next. Nidios is Sneaky next. as well, throwing it up, because he says, yeah, my team's right here. Let's see how long you can fight for Ambition. How ambitious are you? And that one goes to Jensen. So they just get the very easy Drake, move up for the turret, objective first. Impact. Impact. With such a large hit in the 2v2 matchup, but he's making him pay dividends here. Tag team here, <laughs> one in, one out. Yep, one in, one out. Perfect way to call it. Sneaky, just too close right now to Cuvee, and that means death oh. closer, as well as the rest of Cloud9. And with Sneaky being down, awesome play by Sneaky. Impact's not finished. He wants to get blood. Can he do it? He's going to waste a shot there. Oh. Almost looking for the uh, to the skies. Can he get that E shot in? Pushes Ambition to the right, switches around. Oh. The empowered auto is enough. And he Cloud9 defending to this Baron. They're gonna have to burn it down. There's not a whole lot of damage here as well. Be very careful, it's four members. Ambition doesn't have to be up for this fight. And it Whoa. is gonna be very, very low. Cannot even get a range of crown for the poison. Whoa! Going down. Very, very close from Impact to get himself a kill, but he falls in the Baron pit with Baron damage. Now they're on to Smoothie, and now they're going for Jensen still. Can he get a dissonance on? There's no mana, and Cubase on the chase. Medios goes down in the back of the fight as we swing back to the tri brush, and it's going to be a few more attacks. He puts the protect on. That's a lot of damage coming from the hit. Throws up the C9. They need to take a different page out of the playbook right now. Ambition being poked. Seeing if he has to blow that Ragnarok. Actually doesn't have it, so he uses the ghost. He may turn around to fight here for a second. And middle inhibitor turret, and it looks like Samsung is here to stay inside the base. So methodical here from Samsung. C9 left with so little opportunity. Medios goes in again, but gets stopped. Lock it of the Iron Solari, and the steadfast presence pretty much shuts Medios down. Court JJ gobbles him up, and they're going to devour the rest of the blobs. A good attempt by Impact to keep him alive. That's the hit. The shockwave comes in from Jensen, but no members of Samsung Galaxy fall. And now they have to wait for the minions to get on the turret, so they're looking for more Cloud9 members. Looks like with all the inhibitors down, all Samsung have to do are wait for the minions to assist. 37.30 on the clock. Samsung having the fastest game times. Keeps them pretty speedy here. Samsung looking for the last Nexus turret. His impact doing his damnedest to deliver the damage through the Sock Blast. To the skies in, he flashes over and takes down Crown. That's a lot of front end damage that SSG loses. So Galaxy's gonna have to back out and try their hand again in just a few. It's time for cleanup crew from Cloud9. And they take down Cuvee. Here comes Tom Kench looking for the Devour. 
getting that movement speed. The flash is forward, actually. They're going to be able to drop core JJ on this one. So to go in, they don't get Cuvee. That's going to be Ace in the hole. Pushes them saying as they drop the last minions of Cloud9 side and C9 to put up their last defense here at 40 minutes into the game. Impact very, very close to going down. Samsung Galaxy is going to be on to the Nexus 40 minutes in. They came Whoa. in hungry to book their ticket over to the Big Apple. And it looks like Samsung Galaxy will be moving on to the semifinals at Madison Square 